All right, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about my uh, Boondocks kayak fishing trailer that I ordered from Boondocks a couple months ago and I got in and put together. And uh, I'll tell these guys some things that I really couldn't find good information on online before I bought mine. Um, so one of the things that uh, I was really concerned with when I bought this trailer and I watched, after watching a few videos, a guy had, had his and he, but he had a bunch of kayaks on it and he didn't really go over too many features of the trailer. Is like, what would fit in the boxes? How deep are the boxes? Is there something that blocks it off in the back? You know, there's nothing that really covered any of that. Um, how big was this bottom? What could you do with the bottom? Um, I have three kayaks, so I have, you know, I have two Hobie Pro Angler um, fishing kayaks. One's a 12, one's a 14. Would it handle the load? How would they sit on there? You know, several different questions. So anyway, I just wanted to do a quick video and so anybody was thinking about buying one could uh, check it out and uh, see if it was fit what you're looking to use, for, use it for. So I do mostly a lot of fishing. My wife likes to go out and just paddle along with me and sunbathe. And um, then I sometimes have a friend that goes along with me and that's what I have the third kayak for. So I have a 10 foot um, native Slayer watercraft, or native Slayer uh, kayak and it fits under there nicely. I do have to take the chair off and obviously the propel drive can't fit under there because of the bars. Um, but I put that's what the two C wings on the bottom are for. Um, the top pieces I put on are two pieces of uh, two inch EMT electrical conduit um, that I wrapped in, in some marine grade carpet and uh, uh, glued it down and then zip tied it on the ends just so it wouldn't peel up. And then the center bar right here I had to cover with a little plastic just to make sure it didn't damage the hull of the boat when it goes in. And this is good for support, um, really, and especially on the pro anglers, because it, you really, I think it voids the warranty if you just store them on sea wings. You're supposed to set them down. Um, you can see mine are standing up right now, but I just cleaned them, so I'm draining them. Um, so yeah, I put this on here. It's worked out great. If you look down inside of here, I didn't just bolt them down. You can, I don't know if you can see that, but there's some angle, aluminum angle iron, if you want to call it angle iron, um, in there that I drilled a hole through and I came through the top right here and drilled a hole. You can't really see it, but it's underneath the carpet. And I bolted it down, drilled all the way through the box, put a Teflon locking nut on the bottom so it won't come off. I guess you can kind of see it better on this one, how I did it. Um, the one inside the box is obviously a pain, especially in the rear, but um, anyway, that's how I got these down. And they have those aluminum uh, seed channel or uh, L channels on all four bolts. So there's one here, one here, and in the back two corners there as well. Um, that's just to keep it more rigid so that the, the conduit wasn't sitting right on the bolt and you risk cracking the conduit and then spread out the pressure from the bolt so I can keep it tight. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, so the other thing I wanted to talk about was there's some features on here that I didn't really, they didn't really talk about. So inside the box, if you have a Hobie, the Mirage Drive fits in there. I know it's kind of tight and dark in there, but um, the Mirage Drive, I have two Mirage Drives in there. One's the Ford Reverse, the other one's the older uh, Mirage drive um, and then I have my oars and some straps uh, This is basically where I just keep my random stuff that goes in the kayaks that I can't just leave in the boat um, So these are a little pressurized because they're sealed doors um, And on this side I keep some fishing poles and this one gives you a little better idea of what it looks like inside See, I don't know if you can see that, but it goes all the way to the back and it goes over the tire hump. So it kind of blocks that area, obviously, but um, running the wiring on this is a little bit difficult. But uh, yeah, you can fit most of your fishing poles in here. You can fit pretty much anything you, you need to take to go fishing with you. The um, kayak came from Boondocks and I don't think they packaged it as well as I would have liked because the shipper did this damage right here. Now this lip was actually bent right way up. I don't know if you've ever tried to bend hardened aluminum like this, but it's incredibly difficult to bend back. So I had to heat it up quite a bit and you see it still came up pretty ugly. Um, I waited a little while for mine. They had to get it power coated and built. And um, it might've even been the last one that they sold because I haven't seen it on their website anymore since this one. So I'm not really sure. Um, the price point was good though. and. Uh, it's been a good trailer. I don't have any issues out of it. It pulls great. It's straight. It's light. Um, it doesn't, you know, weave, in, weave around on the highway. I can load up anything on it. Um, they say you're only supposed to put like three kayaks on it like I'm running it, but um, I've seen other guys that run a lot more than that on here. They run several kayaks on here, five or six, just all in the way you strap it. Uh, so the other thing that they uh, didn't really talk about was these, the way you strap down the kayaks. So this is a hook on the side and you'll wrap your strap around and then you wrap it on the inside on the other side of the boat and then you pull your tie down over the boat. Um, I had originally just put sea wings on top here, but I didn't like how the, the Hobie sat on there. So that's why I measured these, these two two inch conduits out 
to uh, fit right in the grooves. If you can see the bottom of that kayak to fit right in the grooves of the kayak. So, yeah. And a couple of things too, when you get this kayak, it does not come with instructions. The instructions are sent with the title. So that was kind of a, a pain because when I went to go assemble it, um, the uh, instructions weren't here. So I had to kind of wait until the title got here, but I, I didn't wait. I, it, for me, I, I had a lot of mechanical experience for 12 years. So my neighbors pulled up there, sorry about that. Um, when you get this kayak, like I was saying, uh, it doesn't come with the instructions. Um, so I, mean, I, I, was, I was a mechanic for 20 years and, and it was relatively simple for me to put together. But um, one of the things that really bothered me was these tail lights. They're really, really difficult to get in and you have to do it just right. And I'd love to show you how, but I really don't want to mess with it again because I finally got them in and they work and I'm done with it. Um, yeah, so I had to kind of use instructions and just pictures that I saw of other trailers on uh, Boondock's website of how they assembled them and just kind of figured it out and put them all together uh, the way that it needed to go. Um, one of the biggest, most confusing things uh, when you're looking at it in pieces is this axle and you want to make sure that you get it right. And I think the easiest way to just simplify this is to tell most people, because a buddy of mine was trying to figure it out. Um, I don't know if you can see the, the VIN number there on the back of that rail but that should be facing to the rear um, so yeah I mean this is the the kayak or the kayak trailer kayak fishing trailer from boondocks um, they changed the logo a little bit from the ones I've seen online uh, like I said I don't know if they discontinued or not but it's a great trailer um, I've hauled it down some really rough roads I've hauled it down some nice roads been out to the ocean with it been out to the lakes the rivers not had any problems with it um, comes with the the, uh, the front stand that rolls it's really easy to push in and out of the shop where I keep it um, I'm going to put the kayaks on the trailer and show you a little bit about how I store them and what I do. I don't have the third kayak because I left it. At, I don't really care about that one. I just use that one for friends. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to put these on here and then I'll start the video back up. All right, so I've got the kayaks on and uh, I wanted to go over something else I got from Boondocks is this landing gear. Um, I was really fired up about getting this because the one that Hobie makes kind of, you have to stick it in the bottom and then stick it back in the top and then it blocks your eyes chest if you carry it with you. Or you have to leave it in the truck and then run to your truck and go get it. So I really didn't want that. And I like the idea of the landing gear because it just pops out. I'll show you on this side. It just pops out. It turns. And I can't really do it while it's on the trailer. But uh, anyway, it just stands up like that. And you can just roll it. And then when you get in the water, you turn it back to its lock position. You see it sets down there nice and neat. It doesn't rub on anything. Um, it doesn't hit anything. So yeah, I thought that was a great idea. The very first day I got it, I put it on. The very first time I took it out, this happened to this side. And you see this one's hitting the kayak. It's because when I put it down, apparently these aren't rated for the weight of this kayak trailer, or this kayak rather. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, it bent it. Um, it just, the very first time I used it on the way down to the water. And I'm hoping that uh, Boondocks is gonna make it right here because it really is obnoxious the first day I use it and it bends like that. Uh, this one is, so it was uh, listed as being able to work on this kayak and apparently it uh, wasn't quite the, the weight rating that uh, it needs to be on these bars. So the other thing that I had a problem with is these holes right here on the side are not drilled appropriately for this wheel. So I wanna keep it in. I like the wheels where they sit, or you can have two positions. They can be here or they can be here. Uh, if I set it there, you see obviously why I don't wanna sit there because it's gonna be sitting on that side of the kayak. And right now, since this thing has bent, it's beating the hell out of my kayak trailer when it's riding down the road. Um, so, I mean, I, I'm a little bit annoyed with that. I, I really was excited about this because this, this kayak is extremely heavy and hard for me and someone else to carry more than a few yards down to the water. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a really great product. Um, it, the idea, rather, is a really good idea, but I think that... Uh, these bars definitely need some more structural work because they're not solid enough to, to carry any real weight. I'm sure if you got a lighter trailer or a lighter kayak, it'd probably be fine, but I've had a little bit of trouble with the, this one. So anyway, I want to show you guys how these uh, pro anglers sit on these rails. Um, you can see how they sit and the way that I had these, it actually sent, so I measured them out exactly to uh, the uh, curvature of the bottom of this kayak so that it would fit up under there. And you see they, they flex down a little bit um, and that's good because that, that means the load's being evenly distributed over a supporting bar as opposed to just pushing like the, the sea wings on one end or the other and then leaving an empty spot in the middle. It's actually supporting the whole kayak and it does that on both of these. Um, I think this is part of uh, what uh, 
I hope he was talking about voiding the warranty for putting on C-wings because there's no support in the center. You see right there, it's just holding it on both ends. And if you store them like that, um, it, over time, it will warp the kayak. Um, just the plastic sitting here out in the heat, you know. And Anyway, so uh, this turned out really nicely. They slide on and off here really nicely. I can just push and pull them. And uh, I rounded the edges of this, this uh, EMT up here so it doesn't scratch the, the bottom of the kayak. Yeah, it just it just fit really nicely. I'm really uh, really happy with how that turned out. And uh, this bottom one down here, like I said, is usually used for my native uh, watercraft. Um, so it's uh, not here, but I wanted to show you guys. This is the new 2018 uh, Hobie uh, Pro Angler. I don't have anything sitting on it right now, but um, I guess I could set it up and, and show it because I know there's a lot of people with a lot of questions, and I didn't find a lot of good videos online about it either. So um, let me set it up, and I'll... Start the video again.